A series of troubling threats made across Minnesota. Heavily armed officers descended on school campuses today, and another scare tonight caused an evacuation at the University of Minnesota. Thanks for watching WCCO and CBS News Minnesota. Investigators think that most of these threats are connected. WCCO's Alan Henry visited some of the targeted schools tonight, and he joins us now with the latest. Hi there, Alan. Hello, yeah. Investigators think one person is behind the threats called into 15 Minnesota schools today, from International Falls all the way down to Austin. Then a bomb threat evacuated part of the U of M campus just hours later. Thankfully, all of them were false alarms, but triggered very real responses. A first club meeting interrupted by an officer. We were doing some icebreakers, but then um, there was a policeman that came in and was like, okay, we're evacuating the building. The university sent out a safety alert for a bomb threat and evacuated Kaufman Memorial Union Wednesday evening. Students are used to it. I think I'll just go about my day, honestly, because so many of these happen. You know, like every week, I feel like there's a new bomb threat, or like every three days, I feel like there's a new shooting or something in Minneapolis. That threat at the U coming after a tense day for schools across the state. 15 different campuses went into lockdown because of fake active shooter calls. One of those sent heavily armed officers to Lord's High School in Rochester. Uh, we know that it came from an internet uh, based phone number and it was a real person's voice that did make the, uh, the report. Johnson High in St. Paul and Washburn in Minneapolis were also among those targeted. The BCA thinks it's part of a trend called swatting, used as a prank or form of harassment. As somebody's sick joke. Swatting calls report a threat to human life, like an active shooter sending SWAT teams to a location. And it's really sad reality in our country, in our world today, that, that these kind of things happen. It is scary. Like, it's first off, like, you're interrupting everybody's day and everybody's, like, plans. Law enforcement says swatting is especially dangerous because it pulls resources away from real emergencies. And they say people could get hurt during these tense moments. Also, within the past 90 minutes, police told us they do not believe the threat at the U is connected to those 15 other threats. Wow. It's sad, though, you know, you hear the college students saying that she's kind of used to this. Yeah, they get a lot of alerts yeah. about a lot of things. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Alan.